Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Strabito 142 piece screwdriver set. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So here's a little guide. This gives suggestions for use as computer, gaming console, laptop, cell phone, gaming controller, tablet, RC toys, smartwatch, eyeglasses, and home appliance. On the back, it gives an overview of how to use some of the tools. Here we have a package list. It has 120 precision screwdriver bits, a suction cup and SIM card pin, metal spudger, pry tool, spudger, flexible extension shaft, cleaning brush, angled tweezers, opening tools, magnetizer, demagnetizer, screwdriver handle, extension shaft, opening picks, magnetic mat, and cleaning cloth. And here's some tips here, and here's a breakdown of the different bits. So I'm not going to go over all of these, but you can read through these here. There's quite a few hex and torx bits. And then when you get down to some of the more specialized bits, there's fewer bits in the set. So let's take a look at this. So this is in a soft fold-up pouch. So it's held closed with Velcro. So here's the whole set. Let's start over here on the left. We have a suction cup, we have some spudgers, a brush, tweezers. This looks like a flex extension. And here we have the bits. So these two metal sections have the bits in them and these have kind of a rubberized holder that's kind of sewn into the pouch. So you can lift them up, pull the bit out and then put your bit back and it holds them in place. It has nice labeling on here. So there are duplicates of some of these bits, like the number one and two Phillips have duplicates. So if you ruin or lose one, you have extras. Those are the more common bits anyway. And then this one has kind of a plastic shroud over it. I think that's just to offer some separation between these. I'll just leave that there. Here we have the magnetizer demagnetizer. And below that we have the screwdriver handle. And here we have some picks. Here's the magnetic screw mat. And here's a little polishing cloth. So I think I covered everything here. So let's take a closer look at some of these. So here's the screwdriver and this is grippy. So this is a hard plastic with a rubberized overmolding. So there's lots of grip on that. This end here does rotate. Then it has a sleeve you can pull back and this pulls out. And you can see there's little indents here. So you can use this like this at this length, but if you want a longer screwdriver, you can extend that. I've never seen that before, that's a really slick feature. So there's the max length on that. That's a little over eight inches, and the regular size is about five and three quarters inches. So let's take a look at using some of these tools. I need a number two Phillips, so I'll place that in the end of the screwdriver, and that is magnetic. Here I have a hard drive I need to open. It has a Phillips screw in the back. I'll loosen this. The other side has a warranty sticker. Pull that off. Looks like we have more screws on the bottom. So these are a smaller size. These look like a number one Phillips. So I'll grab my number one bit. That fits in there nice. So I don't want to lose track of these screws here. So we do have this magnetic pad, and it says for mobile phone, but it'll work for other things. So you can see the screws stick to that. Of course, the really tiny screws will really stick to it from a mobile phone. I was able to open that up. Now I can loosen these other screws. I think I need to get these here. So you see I have to reach through there, and it does fit there. That's nice. And this tip is currently magnetized, so I could demagnetize this if I wanted, but I like it magnetized. So I can pull the circuit board off here. Now I have these side screws, and that was pretty tight, but I was able to really easily grip this, like so, and got those loose. So there we got the hard drive out. And I have the screws from each step on a different row here, so I can easily keep track of them. So here's another device. It's an iPhone 5S. I'll put away my other bits here. And to take the screws out of the bottom here, I need to find the five star or pentalobe or whatever they call it. Okay, so that is the pentalobe 0.8. It was up here, and it did come with two of those, and that's common for taking apart iPhones, so it's nice to have extras of those in case you were to misplace one. So I can use that to take these two screws out. Here's a closer look. Screws are on my mat here. This did come with a suction cup. Now this screen is cracked, so I don't know how well this is going to open up, but I will try. I have put some tape on it. I'll get one of the pick tools. It's nice having all these picks here. These can come in handy. They really come in handy when you're doing something like shucking drives. 
you place those in here to help open these up. So we do have that SIM tool on there. I could remove it. I'll see if I can do it with this on there. So I'm lifting up on this and there's a little bit of a gap and here I can stick in that pick tool. And this is not a comprehensive guide on fixing or opening phones. I'm just demonstrating the tools. So you do need to know what you're doing so you don't damage something. And these have very thin edges, which I really like. Okay, I got that open. There's a little connector in there I need to disconnect. I'll use this little pry tool. There we go. And now we can open this up. So this has some little Phillips screws here we'd potentially have to remove to do things. You can use your spudger or pry tools to open up these different things. So this has all the tools I need to work on a smartphone like this. So let's look at some of these other tools a little closer. Here's one of the pry tools. It's rounded on this end, pointed on this end. Here's a thicker pry tool. Here's the flex extension. So you can place a bit in there and then you can use it like this to get into weird angles and such. Take a look at the tweezers. It's hard to focus in on this, but these are ground very precise. And these look like the same pry tool. There's two of them. These are common. And looking at this bits, it does have regular torques and it does have security torques here with the hole in the middle. Now, if you have a larger driver, like with a drill or something or electric screwdriver, it does have an adapter here. So you can place these bits in it. Then you can place this in an electric screwdriver or some other handle. So that gives it quite a bit of versatility. So that's the Strabito 142 piece precision screwdriver set. I like the variety of tools that it comes with and the quality feels top-notch. This would work great for doing electronics work, like working on a phone. So if you're working on Nintendo controllers, it has bits for that. It has the security torques, the tiny pentalobe, the tiny Phillips screwdrivers. You could use this for working on jewelry and glasses. I find these bit holders really easy to use. They all lay flat in the case, but you can pull them up to pull the bits out. Some kits will have the bits close to each other and it can be trickier to handle. This is super easy to pull these bits out and put them back. This is probably the easiest set I've found for doing that. And finally, I like this handle. I think it's easy to use and I like the extension feature on there. So if you're getting down into a motherboard or something, you can extend that. And other times you can have it shorter if you don't need it quite as long. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.